Any day in the shop today, and we are going to take a look and review the Cephasp, if I'm pronouncing that right. Look at this little mini welder. This is a little stick welder. It weighs like four pounds. It's it has a handle on it. I don't I don't know why they put the handle on it, but you don't really need the handle. Uh, Sixty percent duty cycle at 120 amps. Um, this little guy, it's one of the cheapest on Amazon and smallest. Sixty nine dollars as of this recording for this little unit. And we're going to run this thing through its paces. I don't normally do a lot of stick welding. Um, but for those of you that are new to the channel in the past, I was certified for stick welding. Um, but anyways, so we're going to see uh, what this little $69 baby welder can do. And, you know, just go over. It comes with a few stick rods. And you got your leads. And a uh, chipping hammer. Try that out too. Let's just jump into it. We're running the rod that came with it, which is a 6013, um, which you can run either positive or negative. Um, so we're gonna run an actual little bead right here. Just kind of see how it plays out. We have the machine at 120 amps, which is the max. So let's uh, see how she runs. All right, so after playing around with it just for a little bit, um, I haven't sick welded in a long time, but we're gonna get this thing dialed in more, but that's running pretty good. And this is on eighth inch uh, steel. So um, I'm gonna play with it a little bit more and, and we'll check in with you guys. So I ended up, uh, the rod that came with it, it didn't seem like it was running the best, so I uh, stuck with the 6013, but some 332nd. And as you can see, we got it to run pretty good. Uh, for the most part, a few little sporadic times, but honestly, not really very bad beads. So i um, pretty happy with, with how this is turning out. Right, so now that I've had a little bit more hood time, I did quite a bit of welding off camera. Uh, just to kind of get it dialed in, get a better feel for the machine. Did run into one problem. It wasn't really a big deal at all. Um, on the uh, the lead here, it actually came disconnected from inside. But all you have to do is remove uh, the screw here to get to it, and I just, it just was loose. So um, not really a big deal. This rod that came, uh, the 6013 that came with the machine, uh, didn't seem like it was running very good to me. I don't know if it maybe had absorbed some moisture or something. Um, but not really a big deal once we switched out to the other stuff um, that I picked up at Tractor Supply. Uh, it ran a lot better. Um, the chipping hammer isn't particularly very good, uh, but it did work. Um, I almost, I had my angle grinder out and I was gonna start using that, but uh, I everything I cleaned with this. So um, it does get the job done. I'm a big fan of this for like the ultra hobbyist, um, Maybe like the rancher farmer who just needs to occasionally make a few little repairs or just somebody who wants to learn how to weld. Um, I think this is a great machine to start with. It's gonna run off most power um, that you have available. It says 19.2 amps is the most it can pull. So on any 20 amp breaker, you should be able to run this thing full bore. So that is super cool. I was surprised, I was surprised by the machine like starting the arc and and continuous running of the arc is not as smooth as other machines that i've used more expensive machines it's just not but considering the price point it's not bad um you'd, you'd be surprised with what you'd be able to do with this little machine and 
I think that I think that just about sums it up. Um, I will have links down below in the description if you're interested in checking out this little guy. It's like the smallest, cutest little uh, little welder out there, and uh, 69 bucks free shipping on Amazon. I don't think you can really go wrong. Cool little welder. Um, if you're interested in uh, checking out any of my other welder reviews, I'll I'll have them popping up somewhere around here, and uh, that's gonna do it for this one. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.